Felsenthal Bassin Part 2 right now. Hey guys, this week we're still at Felsenthal on the Washita River. Just a little bit of information about that. You know, if you haven't been down there, this is the same Washita River that runs out of Lake Washita, and it's just way down the river. And you think about all the different pools of this river, basically you're doing river fishing. And, you know, there may be some docks, there may be some rocks, different things like that. But on this pool in particular, you've got lots of backwater. They've got a dam, they've got it dammed up, and you've got lakes, lake after lake back in there. And some of these lakes, what people don't understand is, they're hard to find. And even a GPS doesn't help you very much. I don't even think Google Earth goes there. And definitely, Navionics doesn't go. So you don't have that on your graph. You're basically using your GPS for a chart plotter. That way you don't get lost. You can follow your trail back out. That's basically it. And that's kind of where we are this week. Jeff took me back into a lake. It's a it's basically a hidden lake. The locals know about it, but I'm telling you, if you don't know the place, you're not going to just go down there and drive up to it. That's just the way it is. It took us forever to get back in there. We zigged and zagged and jumped stumps. And Jeff knew where it was going, but I didn't know. And uh, I tried to follow his directions the best I could. One kind of thing, like, how much longer now is it going to be? Anyway, that's where we're fishing. So anyway, check this out. And I'll come back here in just a minute, and we'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing. Anyway, y'all enjoy the video. Here it comes. Here's that beautiful bass footage. Bam! Pretty old fish. He's a football. Yeah, he is. He's a football. They should be wadded up in there. Put him in the driver's side. Where I put that last one in there. Help. Also, the carrot's supposed to be a better stick, but I think I like a little better stick. Mm-hmm. Look how big he is. Pull it, pull it like good. Hey, picture taker. Yeah, for sure. Get him in. Like, oh, get your butt up in here. Got a pretty fish, too. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. This fish is going to be pushing three pounds. Yep, all day. Let's so see, you come down here right now. It ain't too hard to catch 15, 16, 17 pounds. I don't know what we've had today, but it's not bad, that's for sure. Okay, a little bit more about what we were doing when we finally got back in there to that hidden backwater. We got in there, it, the water was super clear. You could see, I don't know, probably a couple of feet deep. I know those fish were beautiful whenever you catch one out of there, as you can see on the video footage. Um, 
what we were doing basically is we got in there you could see the shad flipping you could also see the shad pods on the graph so we just tried to kind of concentrate on the areas where the shad were the thickest and that's that seemed to be the key to it we wound up only spending probably i would say probably less than 30 minutes in there it's probably more like 20 25 minutes it was late when we got in there it took us so long to get in there i had to idle most of it just because i didn't know uh, we did wind up running probably 75 percent of the way out of there we got behind a duck boat and i just kind of tightened it up and let it rip anyway uh we do have a little bonus footage here for you so if you will put in the comments i'm very interested this particular fish that's in the footage has a different name all over the country so wherever you're from comment what y'all call this thing what we called it in this video is a jr grub special so if you will tell us what a jr grub special is drop it in the comments i appreciate you guys watching my video if you will please like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram it's greg gullage underscore fishing adventures also follow my buddy jeff marks it's jeff marks fishing so thanks for watching catch y'all next time Bye. Very large, large is in Long charge. Is in charge. Yes, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to break it off. I ain't got two of them. Yeah. Those are my tournament bait. <laughs> them northern boys call a dogfish. Yeah, mudfish, dogfish. <laughs> You're grabbing by the lip. Go hook yeah, yourself. Right. Get ugly and hook yourself. That's you don't want boat, do you? No, nah, no. Nah. If, if, if you can hit him with your, uh, you can get him in, with bottom lip. Then we'll put it, we'll kill him on camera. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> you slip, won't you slip him? I was joking. <laughs> Here, just don't let him know we're bad. No, you just don't let him know we're bad. This is your. Don't hurt yourself. I'm afraid you're going to hook yourself. I got him ain't for sure. I still ain't for sure. <laughs> That's the kind of fish I catch. <laughs> this is a JR Grove special. <laughs> All right. That's for you, JR. <laughs>